Welcome. In this video, we will consider the concept of exponential smoothing and its application in forecasting within the context of operations and supply chain management. We'll begin by defining exponential smoothing and subsequently examine a practical example to illustrate its effectiveness as a forecasting tool. Exponential smoothing is a widely used forecasting method in the context of operations and supply chain management. Similar to the weighted moving average, it is a time series forecasting technique that assigns exponentially decreasing weights to past observations, with more recent data points receiving higher weights. This approach is particularly useful for capturing trends and patterns in historical data. Like other forecasting tools, Exponential smoothing can be applied to forecast future demand for products, helping organizations make informed decisions regarding inventory levels, production planning, and resource allocation. The method is especially effective when there is a need to respond quickly to changes in demand patterns. There are different variants of exponential smoothing, such as simple exponential smoothing, double exponential smoothing also known as the Holtz method, and the triple exponential smoothing also known as the Holt-Winters method, each of these exponential smoothing techniques cater to specific characteristics of the time series data. For the video, we will be using the single or simple exponential smoothing technique, and the formula is shown here. FT is the forecast for the time period represented by T, while the FT-1 is the forecast for the previous time period, AT-1 is the actual observation for the previous time period. As for alpha, this represents the weighting or the smoothing parameter. The alpha value normally ranges between 0 to 1. The basic idea behind exponential smoothing is to give more importance to recent observations while gradually diminishing the influence of older data, this is reflected by the value of alpha such that the closer the value of the alpha to zero, the higher the influence of older data points, while the closer the alpha value is to one, the stronger the influence of recent data points. Assigning the alpha weighting this way results in a smoother and more responsive forecast that adapts to changes in the underlying patterns of the data. Now consider an example. Let's say you are a manager responsible for inventory planning and you want to forecast the demand for a product based on the previous data. Here is a table with the given data. Assuming an initial forecast F0 of 100 units and a smoothing parameter or alpha of 0.2, using a single exponential smoothing, you are required to calculate the forecast for each subsequent period. To then forecast for period 1, we begin by using the assumed forecast of the previous period which is 100, plus 0.2 which is the smoothing, and multiply this by the difference of the actual demand of period 1 which is 100, and the assumed forecast which is also 100, this should give us a value of 100. For period 2, this is calculated by adding the forecasted demand for period 1, which is 100 to the 0.2 smoothing. We then multiply this by the actual demand for period 2, which is 120 minus the forecasted demand from period 1, which is 100. This should give us 104 as the new forecasted demand. Please, would you help us complete the remaining forecasts for period 3 and period 4? Kindly pause the video now. If you have calculated correctly, this is what your working should look like and the values you should get in the forecasted demand column. So what have we learned from this simple example in using exponential smoothing to forecast demand? First, we need to compare the actual observations or demand to the forecasted demand. When comparing the forecasted values with the actual values, you want to assess the accuracy of the forecasting model. A smaller difference between the forecast and the actual values indicates a more accurate prediction. In this case, the forecasted values are not far off from the actual values, which means that the operations and supply chain manager could use the forecasted value of period 4 to predict the demand for period 5. 
Second, the operations manager will also do well to understand the role of the smoothing parameter in the forecasting equation. It is worth noting again that the forecasted values aim to capture the underlying trend in demand by adjusting to changes over time. Based on our calculations, the forecasting model responds to recent observations and changes with the smoothing parameter of 0.2. This suggests that approximately 20% of the weight in calculating the forecast comes from the most recent observation, and 80% is influenced by the previous observation. This means that the model is giving more weight to the historical forecast and less weight to the most recent observation. A smaller value of alpha of 0.2 makes the forecast less responsive to changes in the data, providing a smoother and more stable prediction over time. In sum, based on our forecasting exercise, we have learned that the forecasted values are a smoothed estimate of demand, reducing the impact of random fluctuations. The model adapts to changes gradually, providing stability and resilience to short-term variations. As we have done in our previous videos, it is now your turn to have a go at using exponential smoothing in a forecasting exercise. Imagine you are a manager responsible for inventory planning. You have been tasked with forecasting the demand for a product based on the provided historical data, and you decide to use single exponential smoothing. You have an initial forecast, F0, of 52 units, and the smoothing parameter, alpha, is set to 0.3. Now we want you to help us forecast demand for each time period using the single exponential smoothing formula shown here. Clearly show your workings and present the final forecast for each time period. That concludes this video, friends. We trust that you found it valuable in gaining insight into exponential smoothing as a forecasting tool and its application in operations and supply chain management. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and remember to show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing and activating the notification bell. Thank you all and see you in the next one.